Hi, I'm Valder Beebe, and I host the Valder Beebe Show on FM radio and internet television. I am famously known for that celebrity interview, which I conduct by cell phone, in studio, or satellite media tours. Go to ValderBeebeShow.com, YouTube.com slash ValderBeebeShow, or our partnership network with Business in the Black, which is BlackSuccessAcademy.com, and click on the Valder BB Show's channel. I'll see you there. No. much for joining us. No, of course. Happy to be. While we get to talk about security, tell us what we can do or what we're going to learn. Well, so we actually did a survey to talk about, to talk with parents about their internet usage at home and what they're doing with their kids and how much they use their, their internet while they're, uh, while they're trying to raise kids in this busy world. It is. How can we monitor this or how can we cur curtail this because the kids are smarter than the parents. Well, yeah, and that's, that des definitely comes up a lot. You know, I actually had um, some interns over the summer and they were telling me all the ways they use to get around the firewalls that they have at their school. And they don't even really know what the firewall is. They just know they need to get around it. So kids are definitely, uh, definitely on the smarter side of the equation at this point. Um, and there, I mean, there's a few things you can do. Uh, the biggest, I think, is to just be involved. Right, to make sure that you're talking to your kids about their internet usage, talking to them about where they're going, uh, what they're doing, who they're talking to online. But then there's also you know, monitoring software that you can use, uh, you can install in their devices. Um, I actually work on a, a um, product called the Secure Home Platform, which um, is a replacement for your router that puts all the security on the router at your home, so all of the connections that are going through, you can monitor and, and keep kids safe. And I can monitor them from work or away, correct? That's correct. That's correct. Yeah, that's a really good good tool. Why are what? How do, you gave us a way to bridge that? Okay, how do we keep these relationships intact while we bridge this? Nobody wants to be snooped on. Sure, sure, and and that's why I think you can't just go ahead and and just start snooping, right? You have to open up that dialogue. You have to have conversations with your kids. Uh, and it really needs to be not so much of a parent coming down and saying, this is how you're supposed to do things, but more of a, you know, letting kids know what sort of the dangers there are online. Uh, really opening up a dialogue, talking to them, and, you know, making sure that they know that there are some dangerous things out there. You know, we actually found in our study that about 34% of parents say that they have have discovered that their kids have visited inappropriate websites. Uh, while they're surfing online. And it's not that the kids are going there intentionally. It's sometimes they just end up there. That's very, very true. What's the danger for kids landing on these websites uh, uh, from your report that you found out? Well, you know, a lot, of the, a lot of the dangers that come from kids going to these websites is that they can either go, be going to a website that is downloading malicious software, you know, putting viruses on their computers. Uh, it can also go to websites where people are engaging in what's called social engineering and trying to get information out of the kids uh, to learn where they're going, where, how old they are, what their real name is, trying to figure out all of this information because unfortunately there are, there are, no, are a number of predators online that are looking for kids and, and will take advantage of their, their trusting nature. I want my audience to know that Bruce Snell is Cybersecurity and Privacy Director at Intel Security, so he comes well qualified to give us information. Bruce, let me ask you, parents worry about their, we worry about our online uh, kids present. Tell me what the survey said. How many of us are worrying about this? Do you have a percentage of us? Yeah, so luckily, you know, we, we, we are finding that more parents are talking to their kids. We saw that actually 85% of the parents that we surveyed are, are actively engaged in conversations with their kids about what they're doing online. Whoa, that's a lot. I know. It was actually very, it was, it was a very heartening stat to show. I was expecting it to be much lower, but we're, we're finding that it is becoming, it's high profile enough now that people are actually engaging in that conversation. 
So parents and children were both interacting on our equipment, um, our Internet at home and away and Wi-Fi and our tablets and our devices. What did the report tell us that is uh, um, going to happen in the near future? Did it look at that? Oh, yeah. We're seeing that there's going to be, by the year 2020, we, sh we expect to have about 10, 10 and a half billion connected devices. Uh, you know, this is... Uh, from laptops wow. to tablets to uh, mobile devices. It's just going to keep continuing to grow. It, it is. I was at a jury duty recently, and everybody had a phone, including the judge. <laughs> okay? <laughs> it, it was amazing to see that. You know, so we're all sitting there with little computers in our pockets. So I can believe that. So kids aren't the only one using these devices, so we as parents should pay attention. Give me three things that my parents need to know uh, once again, Bruce. Well, yes, yeah, certainly, you know, you want to make sure that you know where your kids are going online. Uh, you want to make sure you know who they're interacting with. You know, keep, keep an open dialogue to see who it is they're talking to online. Um, and also, you know, it's, it's important to, to really keep an eye on, on how much kids are connecting online every day. You know, we saw that about 48% of kids uh, from the parents that we surveyed, about 48% of their, their kids are spend about one to two hours uh, on a connected device every day. Um, so it's something that is becoming a big part of everybody's life. So really being there, being engaged, and keeping an eye out on your kids and keeping that open uh, conversation is really the key. Bruce, is there a place online that my, my parents and my grandparents can go and look at the survey results? Yeah, sure. You can actually go to, to um, uh, McAfee.com. We have a blog up there that you can actually look and, and see all the survey data. All right, Bruce. Now, he's been with McAfee Intel Security for almost 15 years. I'm thinking he's going to know a whole lot about security and keeping our family safe. Bruce, I really thank you. We're going to have more conversations like this. I'm talking to people every day about keeping our kids safe. Thank Excellent. you for coming on the Belder BB Show. Thank you very much.